welcome to the Savron Knives product video and today we will demonstrate to you the Postgres capabilities of Cluster Control. Cluster Control will be able to manage all your Postgres servers from one single console. It will be able to set up stream replication between the Postgres master and the Postgres slaves and it will do automated failover handling of your Postgres cluster. It will also continuously monitor the performance of your cluster. Deploying is really easy. You just simply click on deploy new cluster, deploy a Postgres cluster, and then define which user will be used for the passwordless SSH access. You can name the cluster whatever you like, and then in the second screen you can define which server ports Postgres will be listening on. You also provide us the admin user and the admin password so that we can create uh, all the necessary users. In the third page you will define the topology. You have one master node and then define all the slave nodes underneath it. And once you hit continue, the new cluster will be built into the background. Now once the Postgres cluster is up and running, the master and the slave, you can check it out. Everything works as expected. And we probably forgot to add another replication node. So it's really easy to add an additional node to this cluster. Just click on add replication slave in the menu on the right. Once this job has been finished, you can see that we now have one master and two slave nodes. Additionally, we can also rebuild Postgres slaves. So you can simply go to the notes page, go to the slave node that is broken, and then from the menu on the right side, you can choose the action to rebuild this slave. Rebuilding the slave will take maybe a few minutes and then after this, the slave is fine. I hope this demonstration of the Postgres capabilities of Cluster Control were clear enough. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below in the comments or get in touch with us on chat via severalnines.com.